morning guys and welcome to the channel. So today's race, I got to say it's been the absolute closest race I have ever had in my Hellcat. So I raced a ZL1 Camaro fully loaded. I believe the owner said he had anywhere between fifteen dollars to $20,000 in modifications. He's making around eight hundred dollars to the rear wheels. And I think he said anywhere between eight hundred dollars and eight twenty, dollars something like that. But let's just say low 800s. Um, my Hellcat has around six thousand dollars in modifications and it's making around 800 to the rear wheels also keep in mind zl1 camaro is a lighter vehicle now the reason why i'm making this video is because when i did the race you know this was at a mod to fame event if you don't know who he is go check him out at the end of the race stefan from mod to fame asked the camaro owner who won the race camaro owner said it was a tie Now, I'm not going to deny it was a very close race, but I disagree with it being a tie. And I'm going to let you guys be the judge and you comment below and you let me know who you think actually won. Subscribe to my channel, of course. We've got, I mean, every car that's here is pretty much modified. We got a ZL1 Camaro right over here. A whole bunch of modifications. Can't wait to see how my Hellcat go does against it. All right, they're starting to go get crazy now, guys. Let's see. This thing sounds beautiful. All right, guys, so we're gonna be doing a roll race between my 18 wide body Hellcat this ZL1 Camaro right here, I believe it's making around, you said eight, 825? Around eight, yeah. Around 800 to the wheels. We'll see how we do. It's gonna be a roll race, uh, 40 roll. Man, thank God that sun, that sun dissipated That's for killer. a minute, bro. Oh my God. My back is like a scrambled egg, bro. <laughs> I'm sure so how did they give this guy this? He is the last person to give a damn bullhorn to. Why did they give him that? You too. You're up. You're up. So now that you saw the race, obviously my Hellcat won the race. It was extremely close, but my Hellcat did still win. Now, 
I, the, I could only possibly consider two scenarios. One, either the dyno that that Camaro owner put his car on was reading higher numbers than it was actually getting, which is very possible. Or, my Hellcat was actually making more power on the day of the race. Keep in mind, my Hellcat was making 800 to the rear wheels, but that was a 93 octane. When I race, I always bump up the octane. I always use a little bit of boostane, bump up the octane to like around 98 octane or something like that. So maybe that's giving me a little extra power. Who knows? Because I've never actually dynoed my Hellcat on the boostane itself. But I can tell you the Hellcat was running really strong, very healthy. It was a great race because he wasn't having any problems with his car and I wasn't having any problems with my car during this race. So like I said, an incredible, great, good race. And, and not for nothing, the one thing that these Chevys have, I said it multiple times in the video, I absolutely love the way a nice lopy cam sounds on these cars. Now guys, if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can sign up for notifications. Don't forget, we have the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon that I'm currently in. Now that winter's here, we're gonna be we're gonna start doing the off-road videos because during the winter with the snow and that kind of stuff, we can't be doing too much racing. So off-road videos are gonna be coming uh, now during the winter. We still gonna we're still gonna be doing some Hellcat events and stuff like that. The Hellcat is currently inside the garage, nice and warm. And I also have that 2020 Corvette that I mentioned before on the way. I'm supposed to be one of the first people hopefully to get it on YouTube. Everybody's order, not just my order, everybody's order has been delayed because of that strike that was going on. My expected delivery date is gonna be sometime in March. I wanna thank all of you guys for the support. We pulled in over 6,300 subscribers in the past 30 days, and that is absolutely amazing. The views are through the roof. Channel has had incredible growth. And again, it means the world to me, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Alright guys, we got a McLaren 720 and an AMG GTS.